Okay, welcome back, man. As the weekend is winding down, we are still getting multiple warnings from uh, billionaires, millionaires. You have Jeff Bezos warning about um, holding back on some of them purchases you may have purchased on Black Friday. You also have Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and this is a new um, warning or new tweet. He said, in a new tweet, Kirosaki said the economy is the biggest bubble in world history. May God help us all. It's a lot of things taking place, man. So let's get into it. Right, man. As this Black Friday uh, weekend winding down, you still have a lot of people out there, man, spending. Um, they're just spending. Maybe they have some cash reserves on hand. Who knows? Maybe they're using credit cards, but who knows? We are still getting warnings from um, billionaires, economists. And the, in his latest tweet, we have author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Rob Kiyosaki, made some comments on Twitter. Um, let me just read for what, what this um, his comments were. It says, Kiyosaki's comments come as economists predict the U.S. is on a precipice of recession in 2023. It says, Bank of America recently released its global ec economic outlook for the upcoming year and the anticipated recession in the U.S., Europe, and the U.K., in the coming year. Now, it says last month, Kiyosaki warned that the U.S. is heading toward an impending economic collapse. It says he tweeted that amid an economic meltdown, investors could keep their capital intact by loading up on gold, silver, and Bitcoin. Kiyosaki advised people to create various income streams to combat the economic crash. Gold, silver, Bitcoin may protect your wealth, but not your income. As economic crashes, stock markets go bust, pensions crash, unemployment rises, a side hustle may provide you income. Who knows, said uh, Kiyosaki. Your side hustle may grow into the next Amazon or Bitcoin. So man, I don't know. Um, I don't know too much about Bitcoin and stuff like that, but I can only tell you what I'm experiencing in my area and what I saw like on Black Friday and people, people were out there shopping, man. People were still out there shopping. I don't know what they were, you know, if they, they were spending credit card, I don't think they were spending, you know, purchasing items with their credit card. I don't know if they saved up with um, with some extra funds, if they saved some extra funds and, and using that. But I did see a lot of seniors in there, man. There was a lot of seniors in Walmart, uh, Sam's Club, man, buying up stuff. I seen a couple of people uh, purchasing the big screen TVs, man. Um, Best Buy had a line outside the door, man. I mean, people were basically trying to bust in that sucker, man, and get in there and get those deals, man. But I can honestly tell you, man, people are unloading goods, man, on some of these um, websites, man, like eBay and stuff like that. You will be surprised right now, man, what you can find for the deals, man. I'm talking about people are unloading stuff, man. Unloading goods, man. And if you got extra funds if you have extra funds i'm not telling you to go out and take money out your savings or or, or get all you know apply for loans and, and put stuff on credit cards no i'm not telling i'm not telling you that but if you got some extra funds on hand man and you were waiting for a deal man check out ebay man you can find some of the stuff that you may be looking for man because i found a couple of the items on ebay man and i was surprised man people we're giving this stuff away. So, man, it, it is definitely 
a lot of things that's going to take place next year, man. And you don't want to be out there racking up a lot of credit card debt, man. Check out the interest rate on some of these credit cards, man. Check out some of the interest rate. I think some of the credit card, I was just going through, um, uh, I just typed it in, credit card interest rate for some of these credit cards. Man, some of these credit cards was 26%. I think the highest I saw was 36%. I mean, it was just, you know, unbelievable about, I mean, it was just unbelievable of how much interest rate they want on some of these credit cards now, man. Especially if you have not the best credit, man, and you want to go out there and try to purchase something, or man, listen. This is something I'm doing. This is not financial advice. This is something I'm doing, man. You don't want to start purchasing items with those credit cards, man. Every time I turn around, they want to offer a credit card here, there. Check your email. Look at this. You're pre-approved. Excuse me. They want to send stuff in the mail, man. You want to tear that stuff up, man. Tear it up. You don't want to start creating a lot of debt, man. Especially coming into 2023. You don't know what's going. You don't know what's in store, man. Like I say, it's always something new, man. You know? It's always something new, man. It's cold out here, man. And and you want to get prepared for the cold season. You want to make sure you have your vehicle uh, um, maintenance, get the oil changed, get the tires and everything checked. If you have extra money. Listen, if you have extra money and you have a vehicle, get the vehicle service. Do not prolong it. If you're looking at those tires and those tires tread or worn down, go get some tires, man. Go you, Use the Black Friday sale to go purchase some tires. Go get yourself a new battery. Put the money into your vehicle so you don't have any issues when you want to go start that car up in the morning, man. Because I'm telling you, you can, okay, I got AAA. Sometimes AAA ain't going to come out there, man. You get hit with a, a, a bad snowstorm, like in New York. Look in New York. Nobody wasn't going nowhere. You know? You're going to make sure you have the supplies, man. Because you don't want to wake up 4 or, 5, 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning, depending on what type of work you do. And you go to start that vehicle, man, and you cannot start it. Now you got to wait two or three hours for AAA. And they may not even come. They might tell you uh, they, they backlog for four or five hours. So you want to get the tools, man, that's going to help you out, man. Especially if you have to travel a, 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 a couple of miles to get to your job. You get a flat tire, first thing you're going to do, because you never broke it out before, I'm just assuming you never broke that tire iron out or that four-way lug nut, uh, a lug wrench, and you look in the trunk and you don't have anything because some of these cars now don't even have spare tires. You know, some of the cars they're building now don't even have spare tires. So you might want to check if you bought a new car, they don't even have spare tires in there. Let's say if you do got a spare tire in there, is the air pressure correct? You know, do you have a lug wrench in your car, man? I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now, when it's cold outside, you want to break out that and you got a flat tire, you on the side of the road, you're going to try to call AAA, man. They're going to put you on, okay, we'll send somebody out. It may be two or three hours you're sitting on that road, man. Check this out, man. Get yourself, get yourself a nice impact wrench man impact gun impact wrench man this will cut down on approximately a couple of hours of trying to break them lug nuts you know trying to break those lug nuts off man because if you had your tire service at a service center they torque those lug nuts down to the specs of the vehicle and sometimes when you go to these little rinky dinks they just put that impact gun on there and they torque it down man ain't no telling with the uh, uh, torque specs are on that gun. So you wanna go out there, man, and get yourself a, a, a nice impact wrench that 
can uh, uh, that's that's able to take your lug nuts off, man. I'm telling you, this is a life saver when it comes to changing tires, man. Get yourself a hydraulic jack. You don't want to turn in that. You don't want to be doing that out there, man. You want to take that tire off and as safe, uh, as safe as you can, man. You know, get yourself a high-vis vest, something that you can throw on that cars and, and, and you know, people can out there that can see you. Because I'm telling you, man, if you're on those back roads, man, depending on where you travel, man, you have a lot of people that are driving, that are texting, you know, not paying attention. You want to be, you want to have something on that's going to make you visible, man. So, guess what? I purchased this off of eBay, man. $60. $60. You know, and I think I had enough and I bought the battery. So it came to like $145 because I got this extra battery though. But look at this, man. Nothing wrong with this. And it's brushless. <laughs> brushless. You know? So I'm telling you, man, when you're out there shopping, man, you got to be strategic when you're out there buying stuff. Don't be buying all that goofy stuff that you don't really need, man. Buy stuff that's going to work, man. Buy stuff that's going to help you out, man, in the long run. You don't want to be out there buying no... Uh, uh, big flat screen TV, and then when the power go out, couple of days or big snowstorm, you don't have no generator, you know? And when you're out there, make sure you have, excuse me, make sure you don't, you have something that's gonna jumpstart your vehicle. It's good to have jumping cables in your car. Make sure you out there Get yourself one of these small uh, jump packs, man, because you may be out there with cables and you go to Walmart, you may leave something on or to any store that you shop at and you might come out there, man, and your battery is completely dead, you know, or you're at somewhere where you don't have anybody else that's going to give you a jump, you know, because believe it or not, you may think that's because you got cables, people are gonna stop for you. No, people are cautious. They don't wanna, people are cautious these days. They don't wanna stop and give you no jump. So go out there, man, get yourself a little small jump pack, man. Something that's that's able to um, jump your car, man. I'm trying to tell you, man. So get the stuff that's gonna work. You don't wanna be out there buying unnecessary items. If you're gonna buy items, man, Buy something that is going to help you out in the long run, you know? Because there's a lot of things that people are buying, man, <laughs> and it's not going to help them out, you know? Generator, you want to get yourself a power bank, you know? I just got a, um, I think somebody was selling, um, yeah, they were selling, they were trying to, they were getting rid of a, um, what was it, Eco Max. A max, EcoFlow Max. We're talking about the 20, what was it, 2016 version. Brand spanking new in the box off of eBay, man. $500. $500, man. I'm talking about for the max. We're not talking about the little small ones. We're talking about the EcoFlow Max. People are selling stuff, man. I'm, not I'm talking about get stuff that you know is going to benefit you. Get yourself a snowblower, you know? Get yourself the tools that's going to help you out, man. Depending on your area, man, you may get large volumes of snow, you know? If you're in a flood-prone area, man, get yourself some pumps, man. Get all that stuff if you know your basement is going to flood out. Purchase a new sump pump. If your area is prone to flooding, you know, but I can only advise people on what to purchase, you know, but it's a lot of things out here that's, that's going to take place next year, man. Make sure you're stocking up. 
Just like when uh, uh, Mr. Kiyosaki was talking about gold and silver and stuff like that, man. When the silver prices were down, I'm talking about down, when they were down. Man, listen. I was out there. Okay, let me go ahead and cash in. Let me let me go ahead and, 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 and cash in on these, man. Let me go in and cash in, man. Let me get the, the real uh, 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 stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm telling you, man, you go into the store, man. I used to buy these little raisin bars, man. These little little raisin bars. I don't know if you go in there. I think, let me see if I had a package. It was little raisin bars. They were 25 cents. 25 cent, man, for these little raisin bars, man. So I go into the store or the local gas station. Well, you know, even in the supermarket. Go in there, same raisin bar. One dollar and fifty nine cents. The, the raisin bars were a quarter. One quarter. One quarter. Now the suckers are a dollar and fifty nine cents. Unbelievable. Just like if you go in there with a dollar. You go into your local corner store if they still have them, <laughs> you know. There's a, there's a lot of uh, uh, family-owned businesses, man, that are just gone. Shut down, gone. You, they're never coming back, you know? So all you got now is gas stations, uh, uh, Walmarts, and that's it. That's all you're going to see. So, and Dollar General and Dollar, and it's not even a dollar anymore. But back to what I was saying, man. The Raisin Bar was 25 cent, man. Now the sucker is a dollar and fifty nine cents, man, and it's probably more, man. I go into the local um, supermarket up here, man. The local Giants, man. Candy bars are not even a dollar anymore. They went from seventy five cent. I mean, excuse me, sixty five cent, seventy five cent, a dollar. One Snicker bar, little small Snicker bar, Snicker bar, dollar and sixty cent. Then. I go back in there, you know, just to observe a couple of items. Then they got these, uh, they took all the small Snicker bars out. Then they put, I think they put a little extra length on it. Just gave it a little, you know, made it a little longer. $2 now. $2. It's $2. You go in there and try to get a, a, a Snickers, Twix, whatever. Them suckers are going up to $2 and some change. A small bag of chips now is two oh nine. I mean, everything is kicking in, man. You know, gas prices uh, still up. I don't care if it go down to four oh nine. Regular is four oh nine in my area. Diesel is uh, five ninety nine. In some areas, it's six nineteen. Then it dropped a little bit to uh, six oh nine. Depending on the area you, you're in. You're going to see uh, different, uh, the prices are fluctuating. But yeah, man, it is, it is a lot of things, man, out here, man, that are changing, man. A lot of things you're just not going to get anymore, man. And I think the best thing uh, um, for individuals right now is, man, try to learn, try to learn how to do something, man. Try to learn how to to do something. I don't care if it's getting your CDLs, obtaining your CDLs, how to drive a truck, man. How to drive some of this, I mean, some of this heavy equipment, man. Learn how to build, man. Learn how to build houses, man. Learn something, man. Because there's a lot of people out here with information, man. And they and they, and, they, and they just, I don't know. It's People don't want to share it. They don't, you know. I'm saying to myself, wait a minute. I got all these people around me, man. I got doctors, lawyers, uh, uh, law enforcement. I got a lot of individuals around here, man. And it's a lot of things that they don't teach you in school anymore. You know? Like cursive. They don't teach kids how to write signatures anymore. Writing cursive. That's gone. That is gone. Because I asked my son, I asked my niece to write, sign something. I think we were at the DMV. Said, yeah, sign your name right here. 
And he looked at me like, what in the hell is going on? You know, and he said that they don't teach us this in school anymore. They don't teach us how to do this anymore. So I'm like, what is going on, man? So you have a lot of people that are homeschool schooling kids, man, teaching them how to work with their hands, man. My busted up hands. Look, look, look at that. Busted up hands, man. Like I said, man, it's a lot of people, man, that they don't like to get their hands dirty, man. They do not like to get their hands dirty. And as this economy um, rolls into 2023, it's going to be a lot of things, right, that you're not going to be able to afford, you know? Your lights go out in your house, your ceiling fan or something go out. You may be, you may have to fix it. Because I'm telling you, man, those repairmen that come in here, man. I mean, <laughs> some of the stuff, man, is just unbelievable, the price of what they charge, man. Because they charge you from the time they leave from wherever they at and when they get to your house. It's like ticking, man. And then when they get there, they act like they're doing a lot of stuff, you know. Like they really doing a lot of stuff and it, 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 it could be a quick fix. So try to learn how to fix some of the stuff around your house. Try to learn how to fix your car. You know, try to learn something, man. Learn how to build something, man. Learn how to maintain your house. You don't always have to call someone to fix the smallest things, man. You know, your 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 air conditioning unit. You know, some of the things that uh, that the service tech uh, call you call that service tech you could do it you know most people don't know how to change the air filter because they look at it and they like okay but the manual is sitting right there you know so there's a lot of information out here man that people don't take they just don't take take advantage of like YouTube man we didn't have no YouTube when I was growing up. The majority of the stuff, like uh, working with your hands, we had that in school back then. But now they want you to pay for it. We had metal shop in fourth, and, and, and excuse me, in sixth grade. Metal shop, wood shop, learning how to sew, learning how to bake, and all that stuff in middle school. Now they want you to pay for some of that information, man. And some of these elders out here have a lot of information, man. Some people are master uh, 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 builders, man. That's why I hang around certain individuals. You know, I try to learn as much as I can, man. I don't care who it is. I can learn something from anyone. But you have a lot of people that are ignorant. They're scared to ask. You know, they're scared to go on YouTube and search and try to find something because I don't know. I don't know. One guy told me, oh, you're looking on YouTube. So what? So what? That's what it's there for. You know, so what? And I told him, I said, I never told you I know everything. You know, what's wrong with seeking information? I mean, some of these people are, are screwed up, man. Screwed up. And if you don't get it together... You out there spending like a madman, buying a bunch of stuff that's not really, that's irrelevant. You know, you're going to be in the same, you're going to be in a, in, a, in, a, in a sad place. I'm talking about as far as your bank account, man. You got natural gas going up, man. You have a lot of stuff going up, man. So if you're out there shopping. Try to get the stuff that's going to benefit you. Try to learn how to, to work with your hands. These hands, man. You know, so what? You get some corn, you get some calluses and all that stuff, man. I'm telling you. But you'll feel good about it once you step back and look at it like, yeah, I, I did that. But it's basically up to you, man. So, man, I don't know, man. If you're out there shopping... Um, spending stuff, man, 
get the stuff that that you need not the stuff that you want and you know get the stuff that you need if you know you need um stuff that's gonna uh help your vehicle help, help your vehicle out get that stuff go get a new battery get the car uh, a service don't go out there and start racking up uh, a credit card debt on some of some of the uh, silliest stuff you know get some more food learn how to preserve the food you know hell learn how to cook because there's a lot of people out here can't even make eggs so all right man i'm about to continue to uh finish up in the garage like i said last week i was doing some um uh, uh shelving in there just putting some shelving around trying to rearrange a lot of things in in here and um yeah man it's a sunday man so time for me to relax i'm out hit that like button and subscribe thank you for watching